Welcome to Electron Line. Remember here what we're trying to do is find the transmission coefficient starting with the boundary conditions on both sides of the barrier with the three functions in reg from region 1, 2 and 3. In the previous video we were able to eliminate the constant b by plugging in the equivalent of b which is c plus d minus a plugged it into here thus eliminating b from the remaining three equations. The step that we're going to do now is take equation 3 and 4 and solve those for f. So we take the, the third equation here and again, remember what we're trying to do here, we're trying to find an expression where we have f divided by a, f is the constant that we find in these two equations here, a is the constant we find in here and in here. So a is the amplitude of the oscillations in region 1 and f is the amplitude of the oscillations in region 3 and the ratio of that squared is what we call the transmission coefficient which is also the probability of the particle making it through the barrier. So when we take the third equation here and we solve it for f, we then have f is equal to this side, the left side, divided by e to the i k 1 l, which is exactly what we did here. Uh, let's see here, oh, oh, over here, I got the wrong equation. So here we took the left side divided by e to the i k 1 l, and then if we divide this into the numerator, notice the exponents are the same, so we subtract this exponent, we end up with minus alpha l minus i k 1 l, and over here plus alpha l minus i k 1 l. And then we factor out the negative l from each of the two exponents, so we end up with c e to the negative l times alpha plus i k 1 and d e negative l times i k 1 minus alpha. We'll see later why we factored out a minus l. We take the fourth equation again, we isolate f, so divide both sides of the equation by i k 1 and e to the i k 1 l is exactly what we did here. We took the left side of the equation, divided by the coefficients of f. Then we divide this into our first term, this into our second term. So we end up with c times the ratio of minus alpha over i k 1. And then when we take the, this, this exponential divided by this exponential, we subtract the exponent. We end up with minus alpha l minus i k 1 l and here alpha l minus i k 1 l. And then if we again factor out a negative l over here and a negative l over there, we have the expression that we want. So what we now have is we took equation 3 and 4, we solved both equations for f, and the next step, what well, we have illustrated here, we're going to take these two equations, set them equal to each other, after all, both of these equations are equal to f, the right side in each case is equal to f, so we'll set it equal to each other and then solve for c in terms of d. And if we do that, we can then eliminate the constant c by replacing every c by its equivalent function of the constant d. So that's where we're trying to go. We've eliminated b already. The next thing we're going to do is try to eliminate c by solving for this, setting these two equations equal to each other. So if you need to know how to do this, stay tuned and we'll continue this on the next video.